Hi, welcome back to the course. In this video, we will discuss one more way of writing the native SQL query inside the data JPA. So for this, we are going to make use of the at named native query and also we are going to make use of the hibernate entity manager. So let's begin. So what I'll do is I'm going to create a new package inside the source main Java and the package name I'm going to call is DAO package which is Diego and inside this we're going to create a new class and this will be employee DAO implementation and I'm going to annotate this with the at repository annotation Let's import the at repository. So inside this, we're going to create a new method. So before that, inside the entity, which is the employee entity, we're going to annotate this class with the at named native query. Let's import this. This will take a couple of options. The first option is name, which is nothing but the name of the method. You can give any name you want. I will call this get all records. The second parameter or the second option, which is nothing but the query, which is nothing but the the SQL query so this will be select star from table name which is TBL underscore employee and the third option which is nothing but the result class which is nothing but the mapper class once we execute this query the records all the records to which class it should have been mapped so that will nothing but the result class so result class that will be employee dot class okay with this let's save the employee dot java file now let's go to the employee DAO implementation and inside this we're going to create a new method which is public this is going to return the list of employees so list of employee and you can give any name you want i will call this get all let's import the list and the employee as well so inside this we are going to make use of the entity manager to call the create named query method so first of all let's auto wire the not auto wire we are going to make use of the persistence context so let's use at persistence context private entity manager I'm going to call this manager let's import the entity manager and now we're going to make use of the manager the entity manager to call the create named query create named query method and this will take a couple of options the first option which is nothing but the method name so let's go to the employee.java so here we have provided the native query name which is get all records let's copy this and paste it here and the second option which is nothing but the mapped class it's employee.class and we're going to call the get result list and we need to return it now let's save this file let's go to the employee controller and we're going to either we can create a new handler method or we can use the existing method which we have created in the previous video so i will use the previous method like in previous video we have created this get employees method so let me comment this return statement 
and inside this we are going to call the DAO implementation method we need to auto wire the DAO implementation employee DAO implementation I will call this e DAO let me auto wire this and now inside this we are going to return e DAO dot get all and let's save this our application is restarted and now let's switch to the postman and we are inside this slash employees which is the get request when I click on this send we should get the same response which we are received in the previous video we have a two records at the ID 1 ID 2 which is Chaitra and Bhushan so let's actually quickly create a one more employee which is Bharat and he is from Australia and I click on the send we should get the response and now when I go to the slash employees get mapping when I click on the send we should get the three records the ID 1 2 and 3 all right so these are the two different ways that you can use the SQL queries whenever if you want if you are not able to convert the JPQL queries or we cannot convert the the query methods or the finder methods inside the JPA we can use the SQL queries to fulfill the requirements so that's all about this video I will see you in the next video